with Spartan here, and now I'm back with a, something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a realistic Minecraft picture in Cinema 4D. If you guys don't have Cinema 4D already, uh, you can go download the free trial in the description below. Uh, I'm using R13, if you guys are wondering. Uh, I got it from Shadow Ninja, and it's, it's pretty cool. Alright, but anyway, the first thing, obviously, Cinema 4D isn't always a Minecraft it's used for many other things, so you're going to need a program called Mineways to import uh, your Minecraft structures, worlds, whatever you want, into into Cinema 4D. So what you're going to do, you're going to go here, open world. I just downloaded a world because I had nothing better to do. So you can really, as you can see this, I haven't really explored much of this world, really. I know it's a lot of water, so I'm, I'm going to choose this place right here. I'm probably just going to choose... Um, let's just go with like this, this, and y yes, just hit yes on that. But then you're also gonna need to hit the select, select, uh, dot, whatever that is, and you're gonna go to terrain base, which uh, it will download uh, itself whenever you download Mineways. And then once you have your area selected, you go to export for rendering, and then you can just call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it. Uh, I don't even know, just, no, not test, just that, it's going to be called that, and then you're just going to hit that, if you want to make it like an explosion or whatever, which I kind of know how to do, you want to just click individual blocks, but I'm not going to do that, so you just hit OK, and then it will load, <clears throat> and now it is saved as a file that you can use in Cinema 4D, so you're going to up, uh, open up this and go to Mineways, and then bring the .obj file, and drag that into Cinema 4D, Alright, go ahead and close out of that window. Uh, you can you can really make it whatever you want. I I prefer meters, even though you're gonna have, you're gonna have to scale it up anyway. All right. So as you can see, here's our stuff. It doesn't really look that well, does it? It doesn't look like a Minecraft world. Before we do that, I need to change my resolution. Oh no, that's not 1270. I prefer using these 1270 by 720. All right. So that's hold on. Can't see much. Thing. All right, there we go. All right, so now we need to get the textures for this. So what you want to do down here, you want to come down here to this little box thing right here with all of the textures, and you're gonna uh, click on which it doesn't really matter which, just one of them, and click on uh, Control A. That highlights all of them. <coughs> all right, and come over here and go to uh, these three little uh, dots right here under texture. You're gonna click on this. You're gonna scroll down or whatever you do, and you're gonna go to uh, uh, this, the uh, RGBA, you're going to click on this, and then it will give you your texture. So, I kind of want to, oh, hello, I kind of want to move it a little bit to make it look better, so that we kind of don't have that look. Alright, and then I, I will fix more of this. If you guys want to, you can add in, uh, you can add in a plane, and what you can do, you can just go make it really, really big. So that it doesn't get like you don't have that nothingness look. So yep, yeah, there's the plane. So if we render this, it will. It's not going to look that well. It's just going to look like this with some trees in the back. So what you want to do, you go down here, Control A again, and go over here to Basic. You want to uh, click on Alpha. Click on Alpha, and then go over here. Click on these three dots again, and then. Scroll down and go to uh, again our, the RGBA. Nope, that did not work. What did I do? I did something. That's not what we're supposed to do. Um, hold on. Yep, there we go. I clicked on the wrong thing. This will make. I clicked on the wrong texture. This will make all of the uh, leaves and the grass and all the flowers instead of looking like a block they'll actually look like leaves so uh, there's that if you guys just wanna leave it at that I don't think it looks that well that's why I don't leave it so I'm trying to find a good camera angle for mine um, alright next thing I wanna do I want to fix this crappy water texture cuz I mean look at this it doesn't look good I, I, it just doesn't so I'm going to make, I'm going to show you guys how to make some realistic water. So what you want to do, you want to come down here and find the uh, material that says stationary water. 
Uh, there it is, right here. And double click on this, and then you have the stationary water material. So then what you want to do, I believe... Alright, hold on, how do I do this? I'm trying to remember how to do this. Um, uh, wait. That's it, yep, here we go. I think. <laughs> no, I was wrong. Hold on, I will be right back, guys. Okay, I remember how to do it. You're gonna, well, you're gonna wanna go down here and go to stationary water, and you're just gonna delete that texture all in all. So you're still gonna have the block for it. You're still gonna have the block, it's still right here. See, it's still highlighted. But now you're just gonna double click down here, and then you will have this new texture pop up. You can do this in, over here, or you can do it in here too. So you're gonna double click on this, and here's where you make your water. So you're gonna go in here, I prefer to use this color. Yes, this color. And then you're gonna click on choose screen color, and then you can just, you can make it whatever color you want. I kinda like to have mine like that a little bit. So there's, there's gonna be the color of your water. Uh, next you also wanna check transparency, reflection, and bump. Transparency, you wanna turn it to about 50, so that it has that transparent look of water. And then under reflection, you wanna make it about 65-ish, about. And then on bump, on bump, you want to have it uh, click this arrow right here, right under texture, and click on noise, and then click on noise itself, and then on, over here where it says noise, you're going to go down and click on wavy turbulence. Mm, sorry. So I think I think that's it. Yes, that is it. So there's your water. And now what you want to do, you just uh, drag this texture and boom, on your water. So now let's see how this looks. See, now it looks a lot better. Kind of. Yes, it looks better. All right, so there, there's your water, and let me fix the camera angle again so that we kind of get some of the sky in here, because that's what we're about to do next. All right, hold on, let me bring this down. Um, right here should be good. No, because then the water looks weird. Crap. Oh, here we go, like this. Maybe? Maybe? Yes, like this. Alright, now what we're going to do, we're actually going to add in a sky. So, what you want to do, you want to go down to uh, Create, and then Physical Sky over here. If you're using R13, if it, you're using a version, a different version, it may be different. Just click on Physical Sky. Now, it's going to it's gonna make everything dark for a little bit. That That's just because you made it different. So, you can also you can go to Time Location and change the time a little bit. I think 1500 is good for me. Let's see how this looks. It's going to take a little bit to render now since you're having different shadows. No, no, it's not going to look good. Uh, scroll through all the hours. Alright, one second. I'm going to find a good time for it. Alright, I found a good one for mine. I set mine at 1400. I also adjusted the camera angle so that you get the water, but then you also have a ton of shadows and you can still see the trees and stuff. Alright, so there's that. Now let's go back to working with the sky. So you can set it at 1400. All right, next, uh, if you want, if you want Minecraft clouds, it, this actually took me a while to figure out how to do. So, uh, what you're gonna do, you're gonna come here and click clouds because they're not generally on, and then you have these clouds, the Cinema 4D clouds, gross. All right, so then you're just gonna want to uncheck all of these except for except except for layer one and uh, drop it down. <coughs> all right, now for noise, you want to go up to uh, cell noise, and that that's really it. That's it's gonna make the clouds look more pixelated, if you would say, kind of. All right, so now now we can let this render, and as you can see, it kind of here. Let's just wait and see. We're not done yet because we're going to add in some good stuff. Dun 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 dun. dun. Slow music, possibly. Wait a second, I forgot to do. All right. Last thing you want to do, we're just going to go ahead and get to this. Uh, you're going to go over to your render settings. If you guys don't know what button that is, it's this one right here. And then you're going to go to effect, click on ambient inclusion, and then <coughs> global illumination. And then that's really it. And now uh, it's going to take a little bit longer to render because it has all of this. So uh, you should, it should start going like this. It should get black and then it'll get really nice. Uh, so I'm going to pause it real quick because this takes about 
two to five minutes, depending on how how good you want your world to look. So I will be right back for the finished product. All right, so here here is the finished product. It's still rendering out a little bit, but uh, here we go. That this is this is what we made. Uh, remember, make sure you guys uh, bring in the uh, .obj file into this, and then set it. If you're wanting to add uh, people into it, you can. Uh, you're, you're gonna need to scale it up, and what you all you really have to do with that is con uh, select all of the blocks and just scale it up. But if like if you wanted to add in people, you would go over here to Content Browser Presets, and then you could just drag them into your uh, percent F8 to percent, and then drag it into your Maxon folder. Um, Weed Lion, if you guys don't know him, he's a really good animator. He has some really good packs out. I'm not going to bring any out because it's going to get rid of this beautiful picture. Um, but uh, yeah, that's really it. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Post them down in the comments below. I will uh, answer them to the best of my ability. Um, that's, that's really it. Uh, just remember clouds, water, sun, ambient occlusion, global illumination, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's really it. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys slap the like button. And yeah, that's really it. So, I, I guess I'll get going. I will talk to you Spartans later. I can see you guys.